Congratulations for being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank well you deserved. Uh, in your long and illustrious career up in the Sacramento area at Ponderosa High School, uh, what individuals had the greatest influence on you in your wrestling career? I would say two individuals. One, my, uh, my father for uh, his instilling me the value of hard work and mm -hmm. uh, probably the person in wrestling that had the biggest influence on my life and my career getting started was uh, Bill Hickey, mm -hmm. who is uh, being inducted here this evening. Um, he just uh, it's like a, a father figure in, in wrestling and just um, just uh, had a, a great deal to, uh, with me going into coaching and mm -hmm. um, he had a favorite statement that, um, that uh, we might uh, lose the match but it won't be because we're out of shape and uh, I always thought that that was a uh, I always took that model and, and uh, and tried to instill that in my own uh, teams, being in good shape, and uh, probably won some matches, and uh, because we were better shape, not because we were better wrestlers. So, oh, always well prepared, that's for sure. Uh, do you have any idols in wrestling? Uh, not really. I've enjoyed watching over the years many, uh, many different wrestlers and uh, a lot of gold medalists and things like that. Uh, I, I couldn't pick out uh, one particular. I think I enjoyed watching Kels Anderson uh, towards the, uh, the end of my wrestling career, mm -hmm. um, watching him win all. I was able to watch all four of the NCAs that he uh, he won. Uh, so that uh, uh, and watching Dave Schultz probably his last. Um, I was out at the '95 World Championships watching mm -hmm. uh, probably one of his last uh, tournaments and seeing. Uh, where the uh, Iranians booed everybody, but when uh, when he came out on the mat, there was such a great respect. It was such, it was it was uh, great to see yeah, very the respect well that they had for him. So I I think Dave Schultz would be another one. Mm -hmm. so two great ones. Two great. Uh, what got you started in this sport, Richard? I I grew up in a family with seven boys, <laughs> and so we ruined a lot of furniture. Um, None of my other brothers really took to wrestling. I, I just uh, started when I was a junior in high school. So I was about uh, 15 years old, 16 years old, and just took to wrestling. And of course, we did a lot of uh, wrestling around the house and and uh, enjoyed the competition. And something that I, I was decent at, I uh, wasn't a big kid, so I, I wasn't involved in some of the other sports where you needed to be big and, and uh, just Loved it and continued from there, and and I think uh, Bill Hickey was a uh, another one that took a, a kid that not with not much talent and and uh, made uh, made the difference and had I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it with him, and so that uh, that probably would, that's probably what got me into wrestling, just the surrounded by brothers and and uh, the enjoyment of of the sport. I'm sure that's what kept you around. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Is there one situation uh, that stands out in your mind, one memory about wrestling that stands above the others? Yeah, the, probably the biggest memories I have in wrestling are uh, the three sons I have that uh, were able to be uh, state place winners. My oldest son placing, uh, Christian placed third twice, and, mm -hmm. and uh, my middle son Brandon placed uh, fourth and seventh. And I have to say the last one I was most surprised with uh, they placed third, uh, Evan, uh, in 95, and, and uh, those were the biggest enjoyments mm -hmm. I've had in, mm -hmm. in wrestling and, and probably watching, uh, probably watching uh, Bo Weiner uh, beat an Iowa Hawkeye at the NCAs mm -hmm. to, to uh, be an All-American. That's, uh, that's a neat feeling as a coach to see a kid that you've coached before Absolutely. Um, do that well. So. Those are probably the stand-up memories. Oh, I was going to say memories. beating uh, the heavyweight, uh, your heavyweight, a couple of years ago, but uh, that, that, that was, was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the head coach. <laughs> Is there one match that really stands out in your mind? Could be a dual meet or individual performance that, for you as a, a coach, or it even could be as you competed that really stands uh, out. I I didn't. Uh, 
I didn't know much in wrestling myself. Uh, Bill Hickey would tell you I was probably a better coach than I was a yeah. wrestler. Uh, so uh, nothing stands out there. Um, probably the 93 state meet. First, the heartache of, of seeing um, four or five kids lose in the, in the uh, quarterfinals, but then to see them come back and, and uh, place third and, and uh, take second as a, second as a team, uh, thanks to Johnny Azevedo. Um, we, were, we were about seven points behind, behind him and, right. and uh, just a great group of kids. Uh, so there's many dual meets over the years, but as far as a tournament, the uh, state meet and coming back and all those kids placing third and, and fighting and, and uh, was uh, something to remember as a coach. Yeah, absolutely. And, along, with, along with tons of other memories. Why did you decide to become a coach? Um, I, uh, I enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed, I enjoyed wrestling. I, I enjoyed working with kids. I, uh, going back to Bill Hickey, just, uh, he made it fun. Um, I enjoyed the sport so much. I, I think I hadn't done it that long. Most kids have been in it longer than two years in high school. Mm -hmm. And I, I just took everything in. I loved it. Uh, from the get-go, and I, I don't think I had any period of time in my life that I was burnt out on it because I hadn't done it that long. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, wanting that success, uh, to be successful in, in, in wanting to go into to teaching, and uh, kind of put the two together. And being competitive, the na nature of our family and wanting to win. <laughs> Uh, so then I think that came with all the brothers in the home so that was uh, those are a couple of reasons I think yeah I'm, I'm sure just to help uh, and be help somebody along like like I was helped by Bill right um, it's a I, great motivator I got a, a phone call the other day by a kid just thanking thanking me and, and just for a lot of stuff and I, I was just taken back by it and then I I thought well it's kind of I'd be saying the same things about Bill Hickey, mm -hmm. so it kind of I think you are brings it back right <laughs> to pass it down, I guess. So. Is there anything you do differently? I know at the end of your career, when you think back, or are you satisfied with the way things went? Um, I saw that question. I I don't know. I can't think of anything that I would change differently. Um, we had to, just a storybook uh, career. I. Um, wrestling, uh, wrestling has been a, such a huge part of my life for about 42 years now, and and uh, I can't think of anything that I would change as far as coaching and the coaches I worked with, the kids that I had uh, coaching differently. It seemed to be successful, and so mm -hmm. uh, that one was kind of taken. I don't know if I'd change anything about that, Jeff. Okay. So. Last question: What would you like? For people to remember about Richard Fox, boy, and your career, um, probably the the things that uh, I'd like people to remember about Richard Fox probably don't have much to do about wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, I'm an honest man, um, that I have high moral standards, um, mm -hmm. that I um, have enjoyed immensely working with kids. Um, and I've enjoyed having them come back and, and uh, thank me for uh, helping them uh, along with their life. And, and uh, it hasn't been the it hasn't been the wins. Um, it's been kids coming back, and those are the things that have meant the most to me. Having uh, many as many forty kids coaching wrestling that I coached, and uh, so. Those are those are things I'd like people to remember Richard Fox about. Just uh, um, that he that he loved wrestling and, and uh, put his heart and soul into it. Well, you can tell, and and obviously that's a, a great tribute. To the fact that kids are coming back to see you to uh, your care and love for the kids, and that you were doing all the right things, and and the winning was a secondary thing. And, uh, once again, congratulations, Richard. Uh, well deserved uh, being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you.